Having trouble hearing? Maybe your hearing aids just aren't cutting it. But your hearing loss isn't bad enough for a cochlear implant. Well, now a new device that combines the two could be just what you need. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra explains how it works. We're going out to dinner tonight. I hope so, because otherwise we're going to be very hungry. Going out with friends is usually fun, but for John Adler, it was torture. Then you get in a loud restaurant and you're really overwhelmed. With his slow, progressive hearing loss, he used a hearing aid, but it amplified everything. You see people talking and you hear all this noise like you're at Heinz Field or something and you can't tell what they're saying. Even watching TV was hard. I could hear people talking, but I couldn't tell what they were saying unless I was reading their lips. His hearing loss wasn't bad enough for a cochlear implant, a surgically implanted electronic device that helps deaf people hear. But the hearing aids weren't a good solution either. Every time he would come in and he'd say, these hearing aids don't work for me. Then in spring of 2014, the FDA approved a hybrid, a combination of hearing aid and cochlear implant, a combination that allows for better hearing with background noise and music appreciation. The processor uh, takes sound in, turns it into electrical energy, and sends it down the uh, electrode to the inner ear. The external processor is held in place with a magnet. If you're going swimming or at nighttime, it literally, the magnet comes off, the ear mold comes out of the ear canal, and it just comes off your head. A meningitis vaccine is required before the procedure. Potential complications include a facial droop on the same side as the implant and loss of any residual hearing. The cost can be up to $50,000 and insurance coverage varies. Starting a month after the procedure, you come in for monthly tunings to make sure the sounds are just right. John has done very well. The speech discrimination, his word understanding and background noise went from 20% word understanding to over 70% word understanding. He's looking forward to going out more with friends and family. And they've all noticed they don't have to repeat things as much. It won't be perfect, I don't think, but it will be a very helpful situation. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA TV News.